There's the pass to Hardy. Let's the three fly. Trains the three pointer. And so many teams now look to establish the perimeter to set up everything else. No doubt it's a growing trend, Greg, and he is highly accurate tonight. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. Another three for Dallas. Their ability, uh, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. Here's Banton, covered by Hayes. In the corner, Tatum with it. Tatum with another miss. The Mavericks have gone an outstanding 4 of 5 from the field in the fourth quarter so far. Here's Hardy. And the Mavericks getting another bucket right there. It's impressive. The level of domination at both ends. And you're seeing the results. You know this. It's not easy building a lead on the road. But this team has been lights out throughout the game. Outside Tatum. They could use a bucket. Tatum with another miss. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. And wow, that's the end of an epic journey taken by both these teams in unbelievable fashion. Get the NBA title rings ready, folks, for Dallas. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And they're going to win the title in the most emphatic way possible with a clean sweep in the first. Oh. What about that dunk? Oh, that was oh. special. My goodness. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. Yeah, playing with great energy and great effort. And as a coach, you'd love to see this from your team every single night. Here's Christopher. Three-pointer. Tatum with another miss. Well, another 10-cup moment here because he continues to miss shot after shot from three-point range. This is not a fourth quarter he's going to want to remember. So Boston going with almost an entire new group here. For Zinkis, he's checked in for Horford. Markinen comes in for Martin. Jalen Brown's checked in for Josh Christopher. And it's Drew Holiday in for Delano Banton. Tatum finds Holiday, releases, and Markkanen with the basket on the assist by Holiday. Love to see the seven-footer Markkanen go right up with it. Doesn't give the defense time to react. And yes, it's good. Houdini's got 57 points. Well, they knew it would be a hostile environment, and they rose to the challenge. And sometimes when everyone's rooting against you, it seems to bring the unit closer together. It certainly did tonight. Holiday, the pass to Markinen. Makes it off the glass. Well, given Markinen is seven feet tall, feeding him on the interior is probably a good decision. That's a nice touch by the big man. So the Dallas Mavericks are the NBA champion. Oh, to be crowned a champion on the road is something else. To win and to do it with a crowd that was so emotional and so into this game, you've beaten the team and you've conquered everything that this great arena holds. Yeah, it's a bittersweet moment for the home crowd. But our full credit to the victors and the amazing job they did to never lose focus or drive. And boy, this is the moment they've been working towards all season long. And even though they don't get to celebrate in front of their home fans, does not take away from the satisfaction. Let's take you to the presentation of the Larry O'Brien Trophy. NBA Commissioner Adam Silver doing the honor.
with it with a deer dad. Come on, man. No, let's go. We did it. Come on, man. Hey, right here. Hey, come here. Come here. Right here. Let's go. We did it. Two times. That's two times. I told you. I told you this is our house. Two times, baby. That's two. That's two. Ten more to go. Let's go. Clean sweep, baby. Let's go. Nice work, MP. Social's buzzing about the sweep. Another year and another chance for my boy MP to dominate the competition. Now, Sam, I need you to go on record. Will MP get the three-peat this season? The first since Kobe and Shaq did it in 2002. Anything can happen, but I'm not betting against MP at this point. It's a yes or no question, Sam. Will he three-peat? <laughs> I mean, it depends. There could be injuries. One of the other MVP caliber guys could step up. Yes or no? It's not that simple. Sure it is. No, then I'm going to say no. Then I'm going to say you're fired. No, I'm not. You're just trying to hurt me. Accurate.